and change. I changed my t-shirt. Oh, I know what he did there. He used what they call editing. People on the streets, not just a great song by Queen. One of my favorites. People on the streets. But also there's actually people on the streets. And I realized I don't often actually get to hear <laughs> That's you there. what's going on in their lives. <laughs> their voice in terms of the whole conversation is not really there. Bro, what do you want to say to somebody who's watching this video? Hello, my friend. Jump. Just jump in, dude. I have had some crazy hairstyles as well. Not quite as long as yours, but... Mm. So I grabbed my camera and I thought, let me go interview some guys. And first of all, I found this epic dude. His name was Leonardo. He had the most profound things to say. And I was interviewing him and I was like, this is awesome. This is exactly the kind of stuff I wanted. I asked him about like, what do you think if you were the president? What would you do? I asked him about like Brexit and Donald Trump. And I just, it was so cool. And then I got home. I put the footage into my computer and I, I realized that I'd made a horrible mistake. Unfortunately, the sound was unusable. The whole interview with, with Leonardo was wasted. And um, I'm not proud of that. Um, afterwards, I, I tried to go back and find Leonardo. Uh, I drove up the road, but yeah, it's gone. It was gone. Anyway, so for the whole day, I missioned around. If it's okay with you, I want to ask some questions to you on camera, and then I'm going to put it on YouTube, and people can watch it. Is that okay? Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay, cool. What's your name, brother? Um, Christopher uh, Banda. Christopher Banda. And I said I would give them some food afterwards as like a little payment, thank you for their time. And it was amazing how willing every single one of these people were. My real hair and my beard is off. I look actually like a nice person, you know that. Obviously, I know they need food and they would, they're obviously quite needy. I think you look pretty nice as it is. Yeah, ach, yeah well, if you yeah. like it. I think your hair is pretty cool, like dude. It. But still, we've often got a preconceived idea that these guys are quite unfriendly or they're like drunk or they're stoned, you know, they're gonna rob me, those kind of things. None of that happened. Instead, I ended up making some friends with these people. It was really cool. Because what my wife thinks is a little bit too short. Yeah, a little bit too short. Oh, but it's nice. They're rather short and long. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Me and Christopher chilled on a park bench. Chris, tell me quickly, what would you like to say to anybody watching this video? Be telling people that they have to stand on this own. Ask the court to give them power. Mm, just to stand, especially in life like this. After Christopher, I met this guy named Randy. Me and Randy went driving around and then I said goodbye to Randy and then I came across Carl. What about your life and what it's like living on the street and that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. Alrighty. He's been living on the street for like more than 25 years. But I stay here for a while now. <laughs> and this guy is the real deal. Yeah, he had a lot of stories. And this is when kind of my whole plan got a little bit usurped. Listen, so you live on the streets, right? I live on the streets. Okay, yeah. how long have you been living on the streets? Three years, yeah. I thought it was gonna be like this funny video and crazy stuff's gonna happen and whatever. But I met a guy named Lucen, and that changed my whole plan. I was time. in jail for one year. You were in, you were in jail for one year. <laughs> he, he laughed at me and I laughed at him and we had a good time. So how do you say jail? Um, say, you, no, hey, uh, I, yeah. <laughs> but you, you say you got a this is in front, you go jail. Uh, uh, jail. <laughs> say. You, you said jail, bro. <laughs> I bet you said jail. But within a matter of minutes, Lucen opened up and just started telling me his life story. So your mom and your dad both burn. died in this fire. In the fire. I'm sorry, bro. They burn out together in, in the windy house okay, and we bro. just play. This guy has lost both his mom and his dad in a fire. It's just black smoke what coming out. The moment I, I knock my eye, make it open, so it's fire, fire. The whole place was on fire. As well as his entire household. And that's why he's on the streets. He was forced out because he had nothing left. So me, I decide I want to come to Cape Town and come look for me a better life here in Cape Town to get my life with things come back. I thought this was gonna be some light-hearted, like, fun conversation, but essentially God had a whole nother plan, and I'm sitting down with this dude, I mean, and I'm close to tears, and I turn to Lucen, and he's just crying, he's just like crying. And I discovered that Lucen doesn't have anybody to talk to. How often do you get to talk to people? Once in a while. Like what, like once a day, or once a week, or once, once a month? Once a week, maybe, or so, people, they talk, they will stop and talk to me. Or so you basically only have a real conversation with someone else about once a week? 
Yes. Imagine only ever really having a conversation with another human being once a week when you're carrying such hectic stuff. So me and Lucen went and we got some stuff for him at the shops and then, I mean, he doesn't have a mobile phone or anything, so essentially I just left him the details and I said he should come to my church and, and we'll be able to help him and see if we can get him off the streets. But you know what? I was suddenly aware that, flip, each one of these people ended up telling me the same thing. They all just said, it would be really cool if somebody had to stop and talk to them and help them. And now, not all of us can help every single homeless person. And often when you do sit down and try and talk to somebody who's homeless, they can be aggressive and they can be quite ungrateful and drunk and all those negative things. But what happens if you end up talking to a Lucen who all he's looking for is somebody to listen? So why don't you try? Take 20 minutes out of your lunch break, go find somebody who doesn't have anyone else to talk to and start a conversation. And who knows, it might just end up changing his entire life. Crick, 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 crick. Magic trick. It's a magic trick, Michael.